Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Week 23. This was the week after the baby show and I was extremely tired. <laughs> I think I slept all day Monday. It was just like a day of recovery because I had just walked around the whole day both days. Um, so yeah, I mean it was an amazing weekend but I was feeling it on Monday. I am getting tired a lot more easily now. Uh, walking is very exhausting, climbing stairs is very exhausting, my back is always very sore at the end of the day, my feet are getting really sore, um, but I know it's just gonna get worse. My pregnancy pillow is amazing, I absolutely love it. I don't really like cuddle it. I actually, when I sleep on my side, I cuddle a blanket, but I use it in between my knees. And then if I'm lying on my back, I have the wedge under one side and then the little like the L part underneath my knees. So my knees are elevated and that helps with my back a lot. I learned some um, pelvic floor exercises at the baby show. And so I've been practicing those. I have this like purple ball and I put it on the wall and then I was rolling my shoulders around on it and then I put it on my SI joint and was rolling it around there um, and it felt so good except that I was really sore after in the next day so I think I think I overdid it a little bit but I was just so sore. I had a lot of appointments this week. Um, and all of them were pretty frustrating. There was just like, people were late. Um, there was one appointment where I was there waiting for an hour and the person left while I was waiting. Um, and so I was kind of mad because I had been sitting there for an hour and she hadn't come out. And then when I asked them, they were like, oh, she left. And I was like, well, you didn't tell her that I was sitting out here waiting? like. What? Yeah, pretty much all of my appointments were super frustrating. Wednesday, I kind of lost my mind a little bit. I ended up having a big meltdown at the end of the day just because um, I had run out of food and I was hungry and thirsty and yeah, I hadn't gotten paid yet so I needed to go get groceries but I was just really thirsty and hungry so I can't really deal emotionally when I'm hungry and thirsty. So I ended up crying in the middle of the day. <laughs> I got approved to do the prenatal classes at my hospital for free. So that's really exciting because there is a um, infant care class uh, that I'm gonna be doing, I think it's the weekend of May 6th, I'm not sure. Um, and then I'm also gonna be doing uh, just regular prenatal class with like childbirth stuff in it. So that'll be really helpful because I'm super scared to give birth. <laughs> I have also been trying to switch to a midwife, um, except I haven't heard back from them. And they said that if they don't call me within three days that I've been put on a wait list. So that kind of sucks because I really want to have some more support. But I, um, I know of a couple doula services that were willing to help me out if I couldn't get into a midwife um, placement. So yeah, so hopefully I can make something work out so I have more support around my birth. <laughs> something kind of funny is I noticed that there is a really dark line um, underneath my belly button and like down to my groin, which I think is called the Lina Nigra or the Lina Nigra or something. I don't know, the brown line. Uh, but that's funny because it's there. I mean, I can't show you because it's darkest in a place that's a little bit personal. So, but I think it's funny that I have that now because um, I didn't think that I would get that and some women get it like all the way up their belly. Um, so yeah, that's funny. <laughs> pregnancy brain. I've had terrible pregnancy brain and I didn't really think 
that that was like a thing for pregnancy but I was on my way to view a test at my school before I wrote the exam and I was supposed to be there for 12 but what I didn't realize was that I had an appointment at 11 somewhere else um, which was an hour and for some reason like on the other side of the city so I don't know why I booked in to see my prof at 12 when I knew I had an hour appointment I don't know it was really stupid so then I had to move it to like 12 30 and then when I was on my way there I got on the wrong subway direction twice okay that's four twice going south towards where I needed to be for some reason I thought we had passed Union Station so I was like crap we passed it I wasn't paying attention so I got off and got on the other train going the opposite direction and then I was like oh crap now I'm going in the wrong direction I was actually going the right way before and then I had to get back on the other one so I was late um, and I said to my prof like oh I'm so sorry like I went the wrong direction twice and he was like it's okay you have a good reason and I was like oh I didn't know that that was like a thing <laughs> he was like yeah pregnancy people have uh, a little bit of an altered brain and I was like oh okay <laughs> I went to a um, baby clothing swap um, but for first-time mothers you don't have to like bring clothes you can just take clothes and I got a ton of stuff I went really looking for sleepers for like all ages in the, of the first year uh, and I didn't really get that many but I got some more uh, I don't really need like a lot of clothing I mean I have a lot of clothing but it's really just like zippered sleepers like I'm really picky about the sleepers they need to have zippers okay because I was a nanny once and snaps were hell on earth this week uh, I also had a lot of projects due so I had a lot of like mood swings I was pretty grumpy uh, some of the days and yeah I mean it's just like trying to like plan things and study for exams and study for my exam on Friday and do a presentation on Thursday like there was just a lot of stuff I had to do um, so it got quite stressful <laughs> I'll show you my bum <laughs> Popping out. Aww. It's so cute. Yeah, so I think that's all I have to say about this week. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.